So what is Lucky Day Living really like? I know moving into college can be intimidating, but I'm here to walk you through what a typical experience looks like and help ease some of your nerves. So on moving day, you're going to walk in and you're going to see what looks like an empty room. But I encourage you to use this opportunity to see this room as a blank canvas. A blank canvas to use your own creativity and ideas to make this place your home for the next year. For more dimensions and the furniture that will be provided in the room, you can go to the Housing and Rest Life website and all that will be provided on there. And now we're going to see some Lucky Day Scholars from this year. Let them talk about how they made their room their home and some tips and tricks about Lucky Day Living. This is my room and if I could give a tip or trick, one would be to buy a really good mattress topper so that you don't hurt your back because it's a good investment. You're going to be sleeping there every single night. You want to make sure that you're comfortable and that you can get a good night's rest. Um, also, clean your room as you make a mess. What makes my dorm feel like home? I would say just making sure that I'm putting decor um, and things that I love within it rather than just things that are cute. So for example, like I did those watercolors up there and I have my study space that I think is really cute and what I like. And so just personalize it to be um, a space that you really love. One tip I would have for incoming freshmen is just keep your dorm room clean. You're, it's going to be the space you live in every single day and it really pays off if it's clean. It'll be a space that's inviting and a space you want to come back to at the end of the day. One thing in my dorm that makes it feel more like home is just how decorated me and our roommate made it. We really made it a space that's our own and made it stand out from other people. So my dorm trick is get a rolling laundry basket. It's going to be so much easier, especially if you're like me and you wait a week and a half to do laundry and so you have all of this stuff and you don't want to carry it in like an actual carrying laundry basket so that's my tip they have them at walmart super cheap best thing i've ever purchased um the thing about my dorm that makes it feel like home is i have a bunch of pictures that really helps me like remind me where i came from who my friends from home are it makes me feel safe i also recommend bringing stuff from your house like i brought um my teddy bear <laughs> and a blanket that I slept with every night at home and so whenever I get sad they're kind of my like and whenever I get homesick they're my kind of reminder. So my tip or trick for Lucky Day Living is to definitely bring your own printer. I know my printer has saved me so many times at the beginning of the semester when you get all of your syllabuses and different class notes that printer will be your lifesaver. And then the thing that makes my room feel like home is definitely all of my blankets and pillows. <laughs> so a tip that I have for girls is to get a mirror because we only have one sink mirror and so if you're wanting to do your makeup, it's definitely handy to have multiple mirrors in the room. So a tip or trick for Lucky Day Living is, number one, bring a diffuser. It'll help you feel less stressed. It'll like make your room smell good. It's just And then one thing that I make my Lucky Day room feel like home is I brought a couch little mini couch. It's a perfect way to like do my work without you know being in my bed and like wanting to go to sleep. But, yeah. One tip or trick I would give for Lucky Day Living would be to buy a Brita filter and buy a high quality reusable water bottle. This is going to ensure that you have fresh clean water without you having to carry a case of waters all the way from the parking garage. And one thing that makes my dorm feel more like home are the lamps. They're the perfect amount of lighting at nighttime so that I can see to study while also keeping the room feeling comfy and cozy. So now that you've heard from some of our current Lucky Day Scholars, I hope you're so excited to be able to create your home away from home. But, there's so much more to Lucky Day Living than being in your own room. When you first walk into your floor, there is a lounge area that kind of resembles a living room. This place can make you feel at home because there's TV, your friends can hang out in there, and there's multiple couches and maybe a table if you want to sit and eat with your friends, if you just want to hang out and do homework, if you want to ha hang out and have a movie night, that's what the lounge is for. When you're in the lounge, the first thing you'll see is a kitchen. This kitchen has two ovens, two microwaves, and a huge community refrigerator. Within this place, you can store anything that you can't fit into your mini fridge, and if you want to cook a meal for your friends or even bake some cookies, that's the perfect place to do it. On each floor, there's a study room. A great thing about these study rooms is that it offers a change of scenery, for doing homework or studying or if you really need to get focused and you don't want to do it in your room or in the library. Though each room in Lucky Day Residence Hall does not have its own bathroom, there are 10 completely private bathrooms on each floor. In each restroom there's a shower, a toilet, and a sink. These restrooms are fairly similar to the restrooms you share with your family at home and they're also cleaned daily by custodial staff. So don't be scared, it's a nice setup. 
Another great thing about Lucky Day Living is that there's a laundry room on each floor. And these machines don't charge you quarters, nickels, or dimes. All you need is dirty clothes. There's so much more to Lucky Day than what's on your floor in your residence hall. There's so many great places to hang out and study in the Lucky Day offices. So when you walk in, there's a lounge area with the TV. There's the Lucky Day classroom. The treadmill study room. The multi-purpose room. A big table where all your friends can come and study together. A small patio. The Lucky Brew where you can get some coffee while you're studying. A large grand piano where you can take a break and relax. And then also in this building are the offices of Dr. Sparkman, Miss Sarah, and Mr. Jason. And you can come to them with any questions you have about Lucky Day and they're sure to help you. And finally, the Lucky Day back porch. It's a great place to go outside, study, get some fresh air, and just catch up with your friends. We hope this walkthrough has given you insight into what Lucky Day living is really like. We've shown you guys all the places that make Lucky Day special to us, and we can't wait to hopefully see you here next year. See you later.